joints on the left Live in the hills, but I still get a spread Started with a little, but I still reinvest it Fear how I feel, then you feel less a blessing I just want the lesson, I just want protection I'm up and I'm down, but the sound like progression Farming never plans if he waits for perfection I think it's to the uh, down, yeah. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a wonderful weekend I got your watch list coming in to June 27th And we, we gotta talk about the bottom, ladies and gentlemen If you don't remember the weekend or last week We were as low as 360 We opened up very strong last week But we closed at 390 or right underneath there And that has a lot of implications So we got a ton of data this week We're gonna hear from Powell And given what we saw last week Week, there's gonna be a lot of questions but anytime you move off of a low this quick you are going to have people asking about the bottom and wherever we end up this week I mean it's either gonna keep this narrative going or we're quickly gonna get smacked back into volatility so we got a lot to talk about I have the breakdown for this week all of the events all the data releases what to be watching even what happened over the weekend and then what we're looking at this week the plays and that's pretty much it so so, drop your thumbs up on the video, make sure you're subscribed, and if you don't know, we are live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open, youtube.com slash the stock market. I think we're going to be on this channel here tomorrow, but I think by Tuesday, uh, it should be good, so we're going to see you there. Either way, y'all been checking in, y'all know what's up, but... Let's talk about it before we get into anything that happened. I just want you to quickly understand the game plan for this week. So here it is. Watch the momentum from last week because this is what has people talking about the bottom. You remember the dollar bonds and everything else. If we do end up chilling out, this is something people are watching because if we're able to string together another bounce, this will be different than some of the relief rallies we've seen in the last three months. So that's the first part we got to be watching for this second part the new data so depending on the data we get that'll probably affect the momentum that's why we want to see if it keeps it going or not but like we've been saying the last couple of days if you did not watch the last video we posted on this channel about a recession please watch it because that is explaining how the market's been going back and forth so any new data we are going to get a big response and again you got the pce on thursday so that's a big one and then finally energy prices and commodities last two weeks they've been getting destroyed you've been seeing oil the legislation all of that so whatever happens this week you know this is going to give us an idea of where things are at and like i'm saying based on these three things we're gonna get an idea of whether or not this is a bottom is the momentum gonna keep going do stocks able are they able to bounce does the data start showing a better trend than what we've been surprised with and then do we get some stability or get a signal based on energy prices where things Things demand and how that will affect inflation and all that are going so those are the main things keep that in mind this week now as far as what we're going to be dealing with or kind of leading into it let's talk about what happened over the weekend it was not that too crazy it was not that too wasn't too crazy on the finance end so there was a lot of news about abortion again you had the roe v wade stuff on friday you are definitely going to hear a lot about that we even have one play related to it but nothing too crazy on that there was news on russia getting their gold imports banned by the United States and the European Union and then this one's actually kind of big we're gonna watch how this plays out this week but by by tonight uh, Sunday the deadline for like the Russian bonds and how they plan to like get the payments it's pretty much today is like a final one and they're probably not gonna be able to push it back and we may get a real Russian bond default so Russia they said they're gonna dispute it but pretty much if money does not end up in people's hands we may very well see our first russian default since all of this started so that could have a lot of implications but watch out for that and then over the weekend we got a little bit of updates this is going to affect oil and commodities this week but the us iran talks they're going to be starting again that could bring down oil a little bit so watch out for that but there is that that's all we got over the weekend as far as now what we're going to be dealing with this week i think it's important but we'll see we've been hearing from powell lately and he has not been using these opportunities to drop anything new but you will be getting powell on wednesday there is a ecb annual forum it's going to be like lagarde and like uh ecb bailey they're all going to be speaking there it's kind of like this giant panel so we'll see what they say they're all going to be talking about rates and what they plan to do so the fact that it's also uh, touching with europe 
Robin Lagarde is speaking. Maybe that moves some things. But besides that, we are getting a ton of data this week. And now this is what we said to be on the lookout for. You're going to be getting uh, real estate data, pending home sales. There's going to be more consumer expectations about inflation, the economy, and all of that. And those could have a big one. You're getting GDP on Wednesday. If that goes negative, you're going to hear the second GDP decline, the technical definition of recession. So we'll see how that plays out. The PCE on Thursday, and that's going to be the most important. And that's coming alongside personal income and personal spending. And then Friday, ISM employment, manufacturing services, all of that. So a lot of data sets. We want to see the trend from last week. Again, some stuff that shows recession may end up being good, but really what we want to see is that there is no major surprises in a weird way. Bad economic data may cause a good response if it's really bad. And then what we got to watch out is for really good data to see if it has a negative response. But in this case, it may calm things down. That's why people are asking, is this a bottom? Because now we're at an area where good news is actually getting a good response or kind of hyping people up. But then bad news is also finding it a way to be positive. So we will see what happens. But that's the week. It's going to be all about data. The final thing we got to look for again is just everything was very bullish. We want to see is there going to be that momentum to keep things up? Does the data support it? And do we really get to finally chill out? Because remember, the last sort of weekly move we had, it quickly set us into another set of lows, 20, 30 points lower. So let's see what happens. Let's get the data. There's nothing else that should surprise. But if it does, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be exciting. And welcome to July. All right. I think we still got to cut. Wait, no. Do we get July this? No. July is next week and we get the holiday. But let us get into the play. So right off the bat, I got a couple of plays. I'm going to start here with XLU and XLV. We brought this up last week. We got 500% on those XLUs. I ended up selling out uh, all of them but one. So we got one left till July. But I want the XLVs, both of these plays. Just watch for a pullback or if we see that strength continue. Again, if you watch strength continue in utilities and healthcare, this could be a bigger, broader trade that could materialize even bigger for the rest of the year. Again, we're already at July, but here's a little pretty picture. This is showing you the ratio of defensive stocks versus uh, the global index and what you're starting to see over the last couple of months or even a couple of years here you're finally watching defensive stocks outperform pretty much to a point that we were at like at the end of uh september 2020 before a lot of the money got hot so that's pretty good to see again a lot of people are watching for this trend but it's been a fire trade i would keep watching this week to see if it cools down that'll tell us something but if it continues and we're leading any sort of bottom rally whatever and this is able you know health care defensives utilities are able to string together a good response that will be very telling so watch out for that but that is the first set of plays the second set Beru. this is the play that we made related to abortion but even beyond that i just like how this stock is held up so here's the 100 day chart you can see it's kind of had a big bounce it was up a lot more earlier but pretty much it's a biotech it can move a lot they're related to like women's health and a bunch of other stuff but i was figuring with all the drama and how much news articles you're gonna see i think this might be one of the hype trades so i decided to grab 200 shares at 13 then i bought four contracts on the put side for 11 dollars strike price so pretty much i over insured it's a biotech it was earlier at eight bucks so i'm like hey i think it could move either way let's see what happens and let's play uh, any of the hype or at least any of the news articles that are going to get related to this because again i am thinking a lot of people on the stock market are going to run and find the click buttons to get in on all of the hype and generation that we're getting or the news stories that are being generated so watch out for that and then finally baby uh, i'm gonna watch these all week baba and k web i actually really like it pretty much is watch if china stocks can string together another higher bounce they had one a couple weeks ago then it slowed down but then it started climbing back here on friday and this could be a good short-term spot of turning momentum just take a look at baba's chart this is the 100 day if it could get past here they really haven't been able to break it out so i'm saying you know if things start looking good here people are chilling out the china stocks start moving and some other things based on the data this one could be very very good so definitely keep your eye out for them but as far as everything else we sold a couple plays on friday i closed the morgan stanley's almost 100 percent, but we got out with the game the cities they're right below break even so we're gonna see and even the wells fargo remember i shorted big but we over insured i'm only down 20 bucks after all of that but pretty much watch all the bank stocks let's see part two uh based on what we got on friday there was some big moves so i really really like it and want to see where they go from there but there was that play then i got the fedex still holding up down a thousand but i want to see kind of what foot we get off to if it kind of goes against me 
and kind of stays even and doesn't go higher. Pretty much, I'm at the point where I'm in the middle, losing on both the insurance and the stock. I either need it to really rip or comes down, but I may want to close that by the end of the week. We will see what happens, but going to be watching that, and I think that's pretty much it. I will be watching oil plays, and again, the commodities have been absolutely nutty uh, in the last couple weeks, so we want to watch out for that, but I really think bank stocks, China, the stocks we mentioned here to see if we get any sort of defensive rally, I think those are going to be a hit, and really, just seeing what the data gives us and what level of volatility or calmness or bottomness that it gives us, I don't know, but we will see, and I hope you're ready, but... That is your watch list, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure Hydra Healthy ready to go. Make sure post your watch list. Make sure we see you there in the morning. I need the armor on. I need the helmet shiny. I need you to remember. Don't let what you learn become mundane. Don't live mundane. You're still in the game. And remember, it's all about the long term and getting ready for when that opportunity strikes. But wait, did I do everything? I think I did everything. Did I tell you, did I tell you to like the video and the water. I think I forgot what happens next. But Chad, I love you. Get ready. It's going to be an exciting weekend. Smile, okay? Smile, baby. It's going to be a good one. I hope you're all ready and just get ready, man. It's almost July and little by little we're getting closer to the end of the year. At least another second half. So let's get it, baby. I love you. God bless you. Drink water and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs>